All right, we'll be having a quick Q&A for the start of the Loot Crate video today. These questions were asked in the last Loot Crate video and on Facebook. And remember, if you hear any noises, it's because I live in a noisy apartment and there's kids playing in the summer and there's people playing in the background. I was asked if I have any other hobbies besides League of Legends. For starters, I wouldn't be able to call myself a gamer if I didn't have any other things. I play other video games. I used to collect cards. You know, I, I, one of my favorite things to do was play Magic the Gathering and I would play other card games like... Uh, Legend of the Five Rings, which not a lot of people actually heard of or even know about it. And it's not being hipster, it's just it was one of those card games that was always in the shadow of Magic the Gathering. And, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh!, which was everyone's like first card game ever. I even had some Pokemon cards. Yeah, we all did. And none of us even knew the rules except if we had the game, uh, the game Boy game. So, yeah, I used to play the hell out of that. I only stopped because I couldn't keep up with buying new sets and the, the place I used to hang out to play card games started dying out. And some of the nerdy people I used to hang out were very, very violent when it came to video games. Another question I was asked, it was kind of a follow-up question from the previous one, is what anime I'm watching right now. And if you have... Uh, and I've, if you haven't kept up with my stuff on Facebook, I've been talking a lot about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That one is incredibly hype. I love it so much. And it was thanks to the fans constantly pushing it on me that I finally gave it a shot. It was like, just almost try, jo try JoJo, try JoJo. Have you watched JoJo yet? It's like, ora, ora, ora. And they just kept going about it. Other small questions I was asked was like, Pokemon or Digimon? Pokemon. Marvel or DC? DC. Dogs or cats? And of course dogs, because if you're not a dog lover, you hate, uh, you know, America. Anyway, what consoles did I grow up with? That was another question that was asked. I had basically every Nintendo, Sega, and PS console growing up, starting from the regular uh, vanilla Nintendo Entertainment System. And it was an interesting situation for my family because we were very poor. I've mentioned this before. We were poor, but my dad kind of like, you know, he was like, he, even though we, we were poor, he was that kind of person who would want to save up some money and buy us a toy so we can chill out sometimes in the house because we didn't live in the most badass of neighborhoods. It was a pretty bad neighborhood. So we got he got us a Nintendo and a lot of our game a lot of the systems we had were usually a generation back. We only ever actually caught up with the GameCube. We got that the first day it came out. It was all wonderful. And we seem to have gotten lucky with a lot of the stuff we got. Like a lot of the stuff we got was from garage sales or swap meets and the time we got a Two Game Boy game, two Game Boys for myself. I mean, for me and my brother, was by pure luck. Some dude who at the swap meet sells all the lost and found stuff after nobody's come to reclaim it after some time. He had a bag full of Game Boy games and two Game Boys, and I assume he didn't know how to properly use the thing, so he sold it to us for two dollars. And that was it. We we suddenly had a, a huge collection of Game Boy games, Nintendo as well. Some guy sold us a box of Nintendo games just because he didn't even know what they were for. I think the last video game he, he played was something like Intellivision or something because he didn't even know that these were uh, like for, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. He just couldn't figure it out. So he sold it to us for very cheap. Coincidentally, that box had like two, uh, two copies of Battletoads. So yeah, I do have Battletoads. And then even with the Super Nintendo, same thing. We got lucky with another person that was selling us a, a box of games. And we had three Street Fighter games as a result from that. It was just an odd situation to be in. But, yeah, we had a lot of lucky run-ins with that. And mo uh, what was I say? Another video game question that I was asked was about what my, what my favorite game of all time is. I have plenty of games I love, like XCOM, StarCraft, and Romance of Three Kingdoms, and the entire Mega Man series, especially the X series. But my individual favorite game of all time is Ogre Battle 64. And that's the sad thing. Not a lot of people played it because it didn't come statewide in mass numbers. I think the, only, I think the number was only 25,000 copies were ever shipped to the U.S. I may be wrong on that, but I never found it. We only were able to play it because our video rental store had that thing and we rented it nonstop. It was so awesome. It's like, it was a unique game. I've never seen gameplay like it and I still haven't seen it replicated. If there was a game on Steam like it, I would buy that in an instant and play the hell out of it. Yes, and I eventually ended up buying it in a, in a swap meet, even though uh, the Xbox 360 was out already. I just wanted to play more Ogre Battle. Now you can just emulate it, so the, pur the purpose of having it has gone down. And you can also get it in the, in the Nintendo store, so there's that.
Alrighty then, it's time for another Loot Crate unboxing video. This month's theme was villains. It's the opposite of last month's, which was heroes. And from my understanding is that this one will not just contain like superhero villain stuff, but like TV show villains, movie villains, and that kind of stuff. Alrighty then, let's get into actually unboxing this thing. Uh, like if you guys have seen the ones in the past, I've mentioned how I like things that are utilitarian, meaning they have stuff like shirts or gizmos or gadgets for around the house. And my brother and extent my the rest of my family like stuff like figurines and decorations. I'm not one to like that uh, kind of stuff that much, but some of it that like uh, fav my favorite movie kinds, like you can see Terminator in the background over here. So stuff like that I'll keep for myself. The rest I give it to my family because they enjoy it more and they'll put it more, uh, to better use. I'm still wearing all the shirts I got from Loot Crate, so that's one thing that's at least been working out for me. All right, let's actually get into it. And by the way, if you see if you see uh, me being all hot in the uh, on the recording, it's really hot in California right now, so that's my excuse. All right, let's see what's actually inside of it. This one I'm excited for. Like I said, villains. Uh, the heroes one was nifty and cool and had a book for, you know, the weirdest heroes ever created, the most regrettable heroes. So I'm hoping this one has something similar because I've seen a lot of cracked articles with really dumb villains and they've always made me laugh. So I want to keep this as much a surprise to me as well. And I'm just filling it up for a, uh, to see if there's any shirt. Doesn't seem to be, but there seems to be some cloth material here. And wait, is this shirt? Or what the hell is that? The yellow package, and I can't actually open it just with my hands. So, wait, no, I actually I think I found something to open it. A little tape thing. And the hell is this? Oh boy. Okay. If you guys have ever seen Breaking Bad, you'll recognize this instantly. Los Pollos Hermanos. It's. One of those kinds of, it's a cooking bib, you know, what you use to, well, cook anything. And it's, if you've watched Breaking Bad, it's pretty much what you, uh, you see the main character uh, wear throughout the entire series. Not this exp specific design, but you see him wear when he's cooking meth. Funny enough, this is something that I would actually use because I obviously will not show you my, my chest, but I tend to do that lazy thing of, I want to cook eggs. But I don't actually want to wear a shirt while I'm doing it. And just having this around, at least, you know, something that I don't have to run to the closet each time to wear when I'm trying to cook, will actually be useful. Or that, or I can give it to my brother because he loves Breaking Bad way more than I do. And, I mean, my wife also likes it, too. I got her into it. She at first was skeptical. But after she watched a few episodes, she was hooked. Like, she loved all the characters and she cried and... Uh, I loved it. And now here's, this feels like a box. Two boxes, in fact. So I'm going to get the small one first. Smaller box. And this one is a jo What the hell is this? It's a Joker wooden figure. I don't want to open it because these things could actually be more valuable inside. But it seems like some another kind of decoration, sort of like that Terminator thing. My brother loves the Joker. And next time when I go to his house, I'll show you all his Joker stuff again, probably. He loves the Joker, so this one automatically goes for him. Again, figurines I'm usually going to be given to my brother or my little sister because they love the most. Uh, next is uh, a much, much bigger box. And all right, I got to open it. I'm a little hesitant to open these kinds of things because they usually tend to, you know, uh, well, these decorations tend to be better when they're still in the box, in my opinion, at the very least. So, and I don't want to damage the box too much. And styrofoam, which is what I wanted. Alright, that's a big star from so. And let's see. Oh, okay. This is a Carnage mug. And this is a, this is my wife's asleep right now. If she was here to watch this, she would freak out. Because not I don't know i I hope yeah, I think it's something you can drink out of. But her favorite villain is Carnage. Straight out it is her favorite villain. She likes Venom, she likes Carnage, and she likes she likes Carnage specifically because the man, the the villain Kenny, I believe his name is, is a murderer. He's like she's the the only pure villain who does things just because he's well, not not the only, of course, but he's the only villain <clears throat> that she saw in the animated series or anything like that that was just honestly a dick. Like every other villain has their motivations in some way, but Carnage is the only one that just straight out wants to shank you, just to shank you and watch you bleed. So 100%, she will love this. This is going to my wife. And she drink. She's a coffee addict, so she's gonna love it. 
Okay. So that's one thing I'm happy about. This one, well, I actually also, like I said, love the Breaking Bad Boyos Hermanos thing. So that one's also another good one. Look. Let's see, if you, another tinier little box. So what the little thing is, what is this? I don't know what this thing is, so I have to open it. It says FX Collectibles, EFX. I mean. Opening it off screen, let's see. Huh. This is not a toy. This product is intended for adults only. <clears throat> so... Obviously, it's not something I would probably be able to give to my little sister. Oh, I'll try to open it. And, oh, wait, what the hell? It's Hydro, I believe, right? Yeah, Hydro, Skull. And I, I actually don't even know. I, is it a cuff link? It's a cuff link or something? I actually don't know. <clears throat> I'm not one to have worn cuff links or things like this. But it's Hydro. I, I, I guess it's something you put on your backpack or something. So since I'm not in school... My sister is, and she's not exactly the youngest of siblings. I can easily give that to her. So that actually, the Hydra one is pretty badass. But it's, for me, it's just something I couldn't use without, you know, since I don't go to school anymore. And a booklet. Oh, sorry, just a booklet, pretty much of what we got today. There's still one more thing, and it's likely the badge of to commemorate the month of villains too. Now, uh, let's see, the box itself, like if you, it's basically just, uh, it seems like uh, the, uh, the Joker's underground thing, you can see Harley Quinn down at the bottom making some kind of, uh, I don't know what the joke bot is, I guess it's a joke on the whole Hulk, well, you know, it's this thing over here, but I guess it might be a joke to the Hulk Buster kind of thing, you can see the Joker working on it. So the box itself, the decoration is pretty cool, though I think the Heroes one was a lot better. I'll say, out of the two boxes... I would say the Villains 2 was better than the Heroes 1. If only because I got stuff that I could wear and use. Again, this one is something I will actually probably use because, again, I tend to cook when, like, from when I'm working on my videos or everything and, like, it gets hot or something, I'm not exactly fully dressed. So I tend to just uh, cook and get myself burned with oils. I'm, I can show you a little bit of the, those burns on my hand. So, yeah, this would actually be pretty useful, and it's mostly because I'm a klutz. The mug, the wife is 100% going to love this, and I'm going to wake her up to it just right now. Uh, this thing to my brother, and the, uh, the Hydra thing to my sister. So, there we go. And the button, of course, I keep to myself. So, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and if you want to obtain your own loot crates, then the, the link to get, obtain a subscription is in the description below. So, consider, give that a shot. It's, uh, at least for me, I like most of the stuff I'm getting. And even then, I could find ut a utilitarian use of most anything. So, give it, if you enjoy it, give it a shot.